What are we doing today? We're going to do little pin, I'm calling them pin reels of walleye, okay? So at this point we have a, a, a zippered fish. So me and you always do that, and they can watch, we got a we video do. on showing you how to zipper yeah. fish if you want to do that, but we like to do it on all of them, but with this one you really want to do you it. You really want to do it, yeah. You don't want, you don't want it real wide either because what we're going to do here, we're going to, we're going to roll this up in a wee, little wheel. I see bacon already. Then there's, and there's bacon going around. So this is like a fillet. A fillet. Oh, fillet. 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 Of, okay. That's right. So what we're going to do, and you don't want it real thick because we're going to pan fry it. The other way that I do them a lot in the summertime when it's not 10 degrees outside is you, you do these and you can do them on the grill outside. They're wonderful. So I mean, if so many different presentations. Let me get this already. I know how where this is going. If you're an eerie guy and you got some bigger fillets like we do all the time, you might almost want to either fillet fillet the fillet in half. That's right. Or just get some of the smaller ones. That's right. That's right. You can actually almost you can actually cut them this way too. Okay, if you have a bigger fish, and then just put two of them together. You'll see how I do this right now, and then I'm liking this bacon thing. Okay, so we got bacon. You can use good applewood smoked bacon. You could use whatever bacon you want. So we're going to take a piece of bacon and we're going to lay it flat. Okay, we're going to take our we're going to take our walleye fillet. We're just going to start rolling it like that. If they're a little bit bigger, okay. If they're a little bit thicker, you can score the back of them so it'll 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 bend a little bit easier. It won't it won't be so. If it's you know, that thick, you almost want to cut into it. Well, don't you? yeah, yeah. Okay, so we roll them like this. Nice little wheel. Okay, wheels are rolling. My wheels are turning right now with this bacon. <laughs> Set it there, and then we're going to roll it. We're going to bacon's down, standing up. We're going to roll it. It's like like a sleeping bag roll we're, up. Yeah, we're going to keep it kind of centered so it stays together. Organic fruit roll up. Yeah, and we're going to roll it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then we're going to take a toothpick. Okay. Seems simple. Like uh, things you use if you get something in your teeth, toothpick. Then you're going to stick it through the bacon right there. Thanks for that explanation of the toothpick. <clears throat> and you're going to stick it through there so it stays, so it's it's holding your bacon around there. Okay. I made another one uh, or two just uh, for cooking purposes, prep pur purposes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, since we're inside, we're going to take a little Teflon skillet. Okay. You could do this on a grill too. You could do it on. I, I, I cook them more on the grill than in the house. You know, in the summertime, whatever. So we're gonna we're gonna start the skillet there. We're gonna put some drizzle some olive oil. Extra. We're gonna put some Hellman's extra virgin olive oil in there. Oh, you want Hellman's? No, there, there's Hellman's. obviously been a sponsorship since the walleye case. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna drizzle some olive oil in there. Okay. You don't have to go crazy. It's a Teflon skillet. Okay. We're gonna let it come up to temperature. We're gonna cook them on. We're gonna cook them top. We're gonna cook them top and bottom. Okay. And get them pretty good browned up, and then we're gonna roll them on edge, so we crisp that bacon up a little bit. Okay. We're going to uh, when we serve these, we're gonna serve a little uh, little compound butter with them. That I'll explain to you what's in that when we get to that point. But okay. um, you know, getting them cooking. And, and it takes no time, especially on the grill. I mean, they, you know, five minutes or so, and they're, they're good to go. So. Compound butter. Yeah. Always do, it's like fishing. You're doing two things at once. We're cooking on that. You got this already pre-prepared, but what is in that? We have, um, we use, a, use roasted red bell peppers. You can buy these in the store, Kroger's, Bassett's, wherever you live. And what we did was we, we put these in a food processor. You can smash them down with a fork, add them to softened butter, Put a little garlic in there, salt and pepper, a little lemon. Like you can that. put whatever you want in there. And then once these are done, we'll take a little dollop of that and put it on the pinwheel and let it melt down in there to flavor that meat. Mm. You're going to like that I a lot. I do like that. I think, I think you'll like that a lot. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to check the other side. You can already see that those are starting to firm up a little bit. Oh, look at that. Can you smell that bacon? And cook a little bit longer. Browning nicely. That's nicely. looking scrumptious. That's mm. good, huh? That's looking pretty good. And then, just to ensure that these are done, um, a lot of times I'll just put a little splash of water in there. Get a little steam going. Okay. That's naughty. Okay. Naughty trick. 
<laughs> That's just plain water. Just plain water. I'm gonna put a little lemon juice in there too. Okay. Naughty. You, if you step over here, get that smell. I you smell, smell, you smell the I almond. Do you, you smell the almond part in the butter? I just want to brown eat. That's so. That's this is. I can't imagine this one not being my favorite. So that butter kind of caramelizing those, making it pretty. Not burning, but just caramelizing it. Okay, now our fish is now our fish is done. That's it. I'm turning the stove off. But with all this on here, we want to give that a little pat. Okay. You like the dry stuff. That's yeah, like a little like, secret yeah. to cooking. You don't, you don't want to eat all that. No. So. Okay, so that we get to that point. Now I'm going to put it here. Put it there. We're going to pull our picks. Okay. You can save that to clean your teeth if you want. I'm going to just let that go. I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna, I'll get a new one. Yeah. So at that point, I'm going to take some of our... Compound butter. Okay. What? <laughs> And we're gonna put a little dollop on top of there. Yes! yes. <laughs> oh, the oh, fire extinguisher is going. We gotta open the door. We gotta open the Them door. This is so hot to fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you know it's good. Real good. <laughs> uh, that'll m melt nicely. Little corner there. There's a fire. There's a fire thing. Sometimes they got to give a little wave with a hat or something just to get the smoke away from. So it. could you put that compound while you got it in there? Well, you can, and you could actually. The other thing you, you, you could you could put a little cream on there if you wanted. You could do about about anything you want. Yeah, put a little parsley maybe. I'm gonna put a little lemon wedge. I'm gonna put a little lemon wedge. Okay. A little sprinkle, sprinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Little lemon, little shot. Got that dill left? I could throw some dill on there. Yeah, you could do that, but I don't know what I did with it all. Now, now, now look at that. Oh, yummy. That's ridiculous. That's not right, is it? It's better than walleye cakes. I think so too. Mm. And and actually, it's less work. It's less preparation. I do like that. I'm not a big fan of red peppers in there. I wouldn't do that, but other than that. You can do whatever you want. Compound butter can be dill, garlic. Oh, I love me some dill, y'all. It can be made out of whatever. We just decided mm. to do the roasted red bell peppers. 